Here's what I'm going to try. Aphelios, invoke. I will make the smoke scaled host work. Possibly the worst card in the game, but I will see what I can do. Also, this card, in my opinion, is broken. It's just that invoke, uh, there's not that much invoke. Uh, not a lot, not, not a whole lot. So we'll, we'll, we'll try to figure something out here, but don't expect too much from this, okay? <laughs> Where fangs, that's the one we're missing. Okay, I've, I can finally type in ball in the search bar again and find Ballistic Bot. What even if the win con just generates something and hopefully opponent doesn't play around it? I'm gonna bring you guys back to January 2021. It was the prime days of Legends of Ruterra and all I did was turn on my stream every day so I could jam Victor Zoe Vi. That's all I did. And it was just a pile that looked exactly like this. Just a bunch of good cards thrown together. Create junk in hand, discard that junk, play your sub Percival, do stuff by just generating nonsense, iterative improvement, your opponent's Captain Theron. It was prime glory days, man. It was so good. And this deck is just bringing it back, except even though there's been some power creep, it's probably worse than what it was three years ago. But you know what? This card is beautiful. And I really like Atrani. I'm doing it. Prismatic. What could potentially be the worst card of the expansion? I'm committed. Oh, support train. This is very aggressive. Uh, so I can't really keep the Sunken Temple against a deck that just runs us over if we want. don't watch out. Well, the best card that we could possibly get is probably the Dragon Caller. I'm setting aside a spot in the trash for the deck. You'll need it in a game or two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give it two games and I'll completely delete the deck after just adding random cards for about 30 minutes. But that's fine. That's fine. We ball. What's up, Spyro? I mean, guys, I, I, I love these type of decks so much. They're so fun to play. It, it's not what it was, but we're bringing it back to those days, to those glorious decks as close as we possibly can. They need to change Age of Dragons or just add the Nightmare region. Age of Dragons is doing well because it's like a super simple deck early on. But I don't think it's going to do nearly as well in like a few weeks. It's a very slow setup deck, obviously. It doesn't do much in the early turns at all. So normally you have the master decks that just run that over. Oh, did I say what's up, Skylar? <laughs> I meant what's up, Spyro? You... you <laughs> <laughs> Your names sound too similar, man. <laughs> Skylar's been here. I heard Spyro. Oh, okay. Alright, uh, Yeet is the leaders. I'm proud of that player. Traveler, and stop staring. So, um, the Gravitum is very good. So I think we need to start Calibrum and then go into Gravitum with Aphelios. Yeah, so the reason why I passed so many times is because I didn't want to just Mystic Shot this. It's much better for them to waste this on a defending turn instead of having a better attack when they're attacking. So yeah, most of the time when you're playing Aphelios, you start with Crescendum. Just like, if you don't have anything specific. Why not Mystic the Mentor? Because then they get three gems, and I'm not really that afraid of this card. I'm afraid of this card, though. Oh my god. I mean, you know, now they don't get the gems, so... Uh, this is how these Targon decks are supposed to be played, and it's, it takes a while to get used to it. Uh, no, no turn is ever straightforward. Let that be, like, the takeaway here. 
Size that paper, snow faces. I really need Dragon Caller. Like, Dragon Caller is so insane. Right. So we do this. And then we want to grab it on this so it's done next turn. Could even attempt to thermo it. Okay, so I think we're just thermoing this, right? If they if they if they can't stop this, they lose the game. Okay, cool. So we win off of that. Because now whatever they play next turn, we'll just hit it with a grab at them. Thermo's back, yeah, Thermo got rotated back in. This is also like this this is also very good. I wanna make very clear that everybody here understands that this is a horrible matchup for us. We are really bad at two attacking boards. If they're wide. Mejana's will be done through me. I'll become who I was always meant to be. Can you improve perfection? Targon is Ionia, but less flat. Yeah, it's like like a. No time to rest. Maybe maybe you should say Ionia is Targon, but less vertical. I mean, you know, sure. Is it time? We're looking for a win con, which is basically going to be invoking. I feel this is insane versus attacking boards, though. Not really. Not really, actually. I mean, it depends. If they're like mid range, then it's slightly better. But if they're if they're like this, where they just jump constantly, it's not very good. So like this hand is just not very good anymore. This is the mountain's final test. I hope you see in my heart what I have felt all along. This is good against a few. Yeah, I guess you like. Imagine a dragon deck, and what they're playing is like a, a card on four, a card on five. Like they play screeching dragon on five. They play Shivana on on well Shivana. Like I feel this doesn't really deal with champions, but like screeching dragon. Five mana, and then you play the stun card. What's your win con? Invoke. I'll just do this. I could use Equinox. But this is draw. I think draw is probably better. We get the weapon. We can stun this. We're also... Uh, we're getting pretty close to just being able to gift this Overwhelm and win the game off of that, maybe. Yeah. yeah, no, this is a this is a prime Targon game, guys. Chip damage, interrupt your opponent in weird ways. Yeah, Aphelios Morgana is actually pretty good. Morgana levels fast with Aphelios. This does nothing next turn. They play Taric. Stun Taric. Prime, like Twitch Prime, where you can sub for free. Yeah, free sub right now. It, it, you're robbing yourself if you don't use your Prime sub right here, boys. <laughs> Lucas, thank you. All right, GG. That was the Targon special. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is one of the reasons why I personally really like Targon. But I didn't really get to display the power of Invoke because it is 100% stalling, doing nothing. And then invoking to play one big space dragon and win the game. That's what this is. The cards that just invoke have a really hard time actually being good. Because they're always super low tempo. You know? So having a card that invokes and does something else, they suddenly become a lot more playable. Like Star Shaping Healing 5. Let me see. Um... I think Solari Priestess is also fine because it gives you something playable. Like you play Solari Priestess on three and then you get a four, five or six cost card. And those are generally like pretty good. Like you curve out because of them. Witness perfection. Meet bags. Uh, I think Celestial Trifecta is like playable. It's not good, but it is playable. As a one up. I can take that, sure. Sure. 
Get out of here. Cooking today is a weak title. When haven't you cooked? All I do is cook. I'm permanently in the kitchen. To want to draw another card that costs either more or less than the card you updrafted. I think we want something that costs more. Maybe instead of star shaping. If we get rid of star shaping, we draw either Celestial Trifecta or Glorious Evolution. Do we win the game with Glorious? I don't think so. I think we wait with this. I don't want that. Uh, Janna would have been great this turn. We don't have Aphelios. I'm low-key, like, somewhat down to play this and try to get an Equinox for this, but it's probably not worth it. This is a draw one. We could just sit on that. You finished the Darkwood vid? No, it's almost done. I'm really close, but I'm polishing it and I'm missing some footage. It's uh, it's a little bit awkward <laughs> because Darkwood has so many different ways to end the game. So I made like a decision. I'm not going to spoil it right here. I made a decision somewhere that made it so that I don't have a certain event happening that I would like footage for. So I might have to do another playthrough entirely of the game. Step one, add new hype but bad cards in your deck for YouTube. Step two, updraft them. <laughs> Step three, profit. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> oh, this new card I added to the deck. Yeah, get it out of here. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm playing this. Can you improve perfection? <laughs> uh, okay. Um... We're gonna have to try pretty hard not to lose to Watery Grave. I might as well draw one now. <laughs> Yippee! Alright. Would you love us if we were worms? I I've learned that the answer to that is always yes. Yes, I would. Hmm. Not yet. 19. Uh, we drew pretty poorly here, unfortunately. Okay, there's the, the Dragon Song Caller. They're probably deep right here. I need this card. For sure. I think this, this matchup might very much come down to... Um, uh, how, how meaningful is your early... Okay, they, they, they toss two Water Graves. Sometimes they only run two. And we definitely win the long term. So, their Devourer is 4 mana right now. Right, is Devourer 5 or 6 mana? I actually have to look this up. Devourer. It's 6 mana. Okay, so we can safely play Aphelios. Caliban. The brighter my light, the stronger your shadow. And I, see how handsome I do? Okay. Eradication. Oh, uh, it's gonna be a struggle here, guys. Too elusive. That's 12 damage. So ordinary. The fact his heals is just insane, man. I don't have a weapon right now, right? No, I don't. Okay.
Maokai's a 20. I forgot to equip the Eidolon. I think this one might be Drover. In you, I see my will made manifest. Jana, your wind makes my burdens lighter. Like, there's always the potential for, like, lifesteal, I guess. One. Storm unrelenting. Okay, that's a heal. What does a two three do? Every time you invoke, or the first time each round you invoke, see someone's a dragonling. It's very powerful. Yeah, I should always start here. All three champions level from that? <laughs> we should be able to level Janna pretty fast, in which case he uh, becomes an elusive blocker as well. Devour, we're gone. Maokai not yet leveled. I don't know if I could use Living Legends. So they're going for the elusive wind con right now. Um, so I need to refill mana here. Kappa Cage, I think we need 11 months. How are you doing, buddy? In you, I see my will made manifest. Jana, your wind makes my burdens lighter. I'm, I'm doing what I can to stay alive here. That's that's really the, uh, the story right now. It's possible that we level Janna at burst speed. So they have one big loose attack. Okay, that's a really good draw. God, uh, yeah, th this brings me back to the Targon days, man. It's just, there's one big struggle. Stay alive. No matter the cost. And then eventually you win. Okay, one for Maokai to level. There you are. She's one off leveling. I, I I think whatever weapon I pick here, I'm 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 discarding it. Because I think I'm using the Thermo Beam on the 6-6 six, six here. Oh, oops. Sorry, dude. <laughs> I forgot that was a burst card. Ah, okay. Heal Breaker. So that deals 5 to everything. I haven't seen my... Uh... I haven't seen my pay eight to reduce the cost of everything by half. I'd be surprised if they play this. They are. I don't think it's correct for them.
Yeah, so Glorious is a good wing con, but we could just be dead next turn. Let's see if they have a Watery Grave. I actually don't think I have a champion to do anything about this right now. We have. Oh no, wait, I do have the Aphelios in my hand, right? The Isles will bloom again. Another Nautilus? I have you. All right, sure. Doing what I can here. Oh. If they have water regret, I don't think they have it. If they do, I, I just lose though. And that's you know. I'll I'll just have to accept that. I think I lose to the other uh no wait. You are its voice. Do I lose to it? Do I lose to this card? Oh, I think I do actually. I think I just lose to the elusive here, right? What could I possibly draw to deal with that? Oh, okay, so that's that's good, I think, if they do that. Yeah. So that is a throw for them, I think. So I have to use the slow speed one here. And then I can draw into this. I don't have the Draggling Caller anymore. For many seasons to come. Okay, nice. So, we should be alive. Them under. Guide him, mother. Okay. Carlos Sego! Think of it in one month. Two months, sorry. What's the point of that? All right. The moon rises. Oh, more treasures. Oh, that's. Uh oh, that is scary. We could lose the discard pretty easily. See as I see. Probably another uh, Nautilus. Yeah. Hmm. 
one card left. But we shuffle all of this back into our deck. Does that matter? This gets shuffled back into the deck too. I have you. Need to override temple. I can can I I can obliterate my own landmark. Alright, let's see what they get, I guess. Nah, I can I can override it, I guess. Right? <laughs> yeah, they they could they could generate lethal, they could. Fall from us like water. We look to the sky. This game, dude. Oh man. Okay, sure. Uh, I'm I'm a little bit worried that that could be like the big o. I mean, the big overall is six attack, I guess. This is why I reached the peak of Mount Targon, dude. Oh, oh my god. The utter grind when you play Targon. How, how long was this game? Yeah, let's actually see. Oh, how long was this game? 19 minutes. <laughs> oh my god. They had two rude aces as well. Oh, they're super... Con they had three... I mean... At any point, right, we would have lost if they had Watery Grave. Watery Graves would kind of just destroy us. Did kind of make me think that maybe the Landmark isn't as bad as it seems because you... Like, that's why this is the only re way to play, right? Just like one big pile, so you're not all in on it. Oh, it's Mr. Nachos. That's good, Mr. Nachos. I like... Uh, when Shidoka's editing this, uh, give yourself a shout out for Among Us. Among Us. Have we done some Lux Illuminate deck? Many. Many. More than a couple. Should I be killing this? I think I need to play and destroy their next one though. He is right there. Yeah, today is uh, it's Among Us Friday. We will be playing today. I like the expansion before this much more. The expansion before this was very good as well. Yeah. On on day one, I played a couple of Lux decks. I mean, I think this is fine. They're playing Ionia, so I don't know if we can play for the Glorious. I might just need to updraft this. Does Sonya have days where he tries decks we send him? I don't, however, next week, probably like near the end of next week, I will be having the grand deck building competition that you all can participate in. Oh, that's a problem. What this means is that on Twitter, Discord, YouTube, I will make a post asking people to submit decks. And then me and a couple of other content creators are going to pick the coolest ones that we're going to play. There will be a winner. Uh, I, I tried to get Riot on board for this. To maybe have some prizes for the coolest decks that we choose. 
Oh, that's oh, that's kind of clever. I tried to like counterplay their uh... like if they have a challenger, right? There was a challenger husk, and then if they play oh, Evelyn, it just kills my right. Aphelios if I play that, and that's just no good. You will speak when I allow you. Impress me. Yeah, uh, Roly is gonna be joining us. Hopefully, a couple others too. I mean, I could, like, do this. Updraft this for spell mana and then play Aphelios. More fodder for a pointless struggle! Yippee! <laughs> What are the deck criteria? What makes something win? If we think you have a cool deck, you win. And like I said, uh, I asked Roly if she would be on board a few weeks ago. She said she was, so I'm gonna assume she still is. The criteria are, can you make a cool deck that Sunny would like? Or can you make a cool deck that Roly would like? And, you know, maybe we'll get some others on board as well. I think I don't need this right now. It's like a really good card though. Okay, we'll do this. We'll updraft these two. May your blessings upon me ease the pain of others. Feel the breeze. Standard, I'm assuming, yeah, it's gonna be standard. You have my favor. Again, this is something I'll be announcing next week. In you, I see my will made manifest. Jana. Your wind makes my burdens lighter. Ew, what are these cards? So they're sleeping this? I was hoping to draw like a cheap card that we could play after the Janna draw. I mean, that's fine, you know, we have a board. I probably should have picked Severum. I was just like, I think the help buff is more relevant right now, and I, I don't really need to stun. I guess stun is good here to the get rid of it. Useless. Useless. You shall not assail them. Well, Janna would die then. Okay, this this weapon sucks. So here's the play. Watch this, guys. It's gonna blow your mind. It's called discard. The bat weapon. Did I get a new one? Actually, I don't know how this works. I don't. Ah, uh, what? I still need to play one more. And then I get it back! <laughs> I think this is random. Right? Is that not how it works? What are the odds they, they, they run deny? Because I, I kind of need to get rid of this before it get a grand spirit to every, everything everywhere. Don't waste 100%. Time. Man, that is what it is, I guess, dude. Storm unrelenting. Pretty sure it's right now. I think so too. <laughs> this is a, we are going very slow, so it, we're gonna play against decks that also get to play their cool stuff, which we then just straight up remove because we're evil. Awesome more. We, uh, we, we have potential to high roll. We have potential to high roll. Like, we, we could use the landmark and discount this, and then we win the game. This card is awesome, by the way. I call this card an abomination. I would like to formally take that back.
I mean, I could just play like almost all my hand, I guess. Maybe that's good. Hold on. I can actually just dump my entire hand and guarantee that it lands here or here or here, and then I'm both happy. Okay, we can do that. From darkness, light. Light. Silent as death. That's a six three. They cannot hide. Master. All right, well, here we go. I mean, that's fine, right? This gives us a pretty good turn. Storm unrelenting. Do not kill. Okay. So I got a weapon off of this. Humanity is obsolete. Who's that dragon in the enemy board? This? This is Evelyn. <laughs> Since haste Nui, I haven't been around as much due to finish it in my first year of college. I hope new lore update is treating you well. Excited to watch more during the summer. Oh, this is not very good. I was hoping for like a, uh, with a 10 cost. Uh. We're placing so many cards. So Lancelot, thank you so much for the eight months. Uh, the LOR update is treating me very well. If you uh, give it a try yourself, you gotta let me know. It's a banger of an expansion. I think I'm just going for the seven cost here to apply pressure. I don't really... So the, the cool thing is here, we have Sunka Temple, so this all just gets shuffled back into our deck. So it's not like we're in a rush. Yeah, this is Soul Fighter, right? I think it's Soul Fighter Evelyn. Yeah, Soul Fighter Evelyn. Okay, so yeah, again, um, Sunka Temple, shuffling this all back so we have a full hand again is just kind of great. Six. I don't think I attack with that. Or that. Is this the only... <laughs> I'm like, I'm kind of worried that Evelyn gets buffed and blocks Aphelios, and I kind of need Aphelios right now. Beware. Doldrums cause cabin fever. Alright, well, elusive down. Lilia? Dreams, not a one. Go on, I will protect you, Mother Tree. I mean, sure, I don't like they're paying seven mana to give their stuff plus one plus one. I paid seven mana to give everything everywhere plus two plus two. That's uh, that's that's you know, I think we're better in that. The Zephyr heralds the squall. These are not good cards. Okay, that's a good card. They've kind of shown that they don't have an answer for our big spells, so maybe we just uh, survive and play the Glorious. I don't even care if our board dies here. The forest gloom. If they have a card to protect Lilia, that's fine. <laughs> they tried. Tried to bluff. Didn't work. Alright. Oh, top decked. Alright. Knowledge is suffering. 
<laughs> Knowledge is suffering. Take some help. By my wind shall the down Dom's about to play the new LOR set. Hell yeah, man. Bro, I gotta say, Dom's video, uh, uh, you know, as well as the other people that help with that, was incredible. Arcane in a nutshell. So good, man. Quality content right there. We need more of that stuff. Hmm. I mean, that's fine. They honestly should probably use that to kill us. The overdraw? That's alright. Overdrawing doesn't really matter if every card you're drawing is already good. Yeah. Oh, that's the first time we draw that. A gentle breeze to ease your burdens. We overdraw one, I think, then? Oh, good. More fodder for a pointless struggle. Oh, well, <laughs> that cart really didn't matter. Yeesh. We have a lot of value. You need to Cam Drake? There's not a chance I'm playing Cam Drake in this. We're already memeing to the max. I can't play another 8 cost card. It is funny though. It's like you have to realize that Cam Drake is funny, but it's not often that you actually get to this stage in the game. We got pretty lucky that we're playing against slow decks because we absolutely fold against wide boards. All right, let's see. So we do this here. I feel like Kendrake barely gets to actually do his thing. Yeah, the, the, the best part about Kendrake is just like, when you play a spell, draw one. That's what makes the card pretty good. It's nothing beyond that, really. I, um... <laughs> All right. What the hell? Five men are ruination. That's what I got to play around against this deck. I mean, on the bright side, it actually just really doesn't matter, but it is pretty cute. They, they would have been cooked if we had Glory's active, by the way. It would have been absolutely over. But yeah, uh, all our stuff is just uh, kind of cheap. <laughs> Five mana ruination. I mean, it would have been worse if they got Skies to send, because then it would have been a one-sided board clear. We could probably deal with that. So if I, if I hush this, it just dies, right? Huh. I feel like out of all the Aphelios decks we could have made, it's kind of surprising that we landed on what feels like a very good one. I low-key feel like Let this draft we just straight... Oh, more... Okay, see... Okay, we, we, we did burn some pretty good cards there. I'm One not, I'm not gonna sit here and deny that. I don't need this. Ah, oh, the Morgana would have been sick. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. I think this just seals the game. I love it when they scream. Another one? Another deny? Couldn't be. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna do this for science. Let's see. Zero mana hush. <laughs> I 
Let's get removal. <laughs> okay. Surely that's lethal, right? I need I need I need like a star shaping or something. Super cool star chart. Oh yeah. A gentle breeze to ease your burdens. With the night's embrace. All right. Wait, I actually can't stop that. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> not bad, not bad. It's gonna be so easy to go back on this deck and change ratios on so many cards here. But th th this feels good, man. This is, a, this is a good angle. These games are so long. Yeah, welcome to Targon Invoke, man. <laughs> that That is the Targon Invoke special. Mr. Shifter, not a quitter, if I 